Hey there, everybody. My name is Mark, and when you see me surrounded by a guitar and some microphones and a keyboard and clearly about to sing you a song, that's about the only appropriate time to call me Mark with a C. Thanks for coming to the show to help us give kids the world. Thanks to all the other acts who helped give kids the world today. Thanks to Team on Gaku for having this idea, for thinking of me, asking me to help. I'm so honored. And thanks in advance to you for listening. Have you ever had the feeling that you've been this place before? But you haven't, not in this life. You've seen it, and you've done it, and you've heard it all before. But you haven't, not in this life. And loving at first sight I hope you do Cause I do Cause I believe in everything Cause that's the simplest way for me to be I believe in everything To believe in everything you hear and see I believe Have you ever had the feeling that you've been this place before? But you haven't, no, not in this life. You've seen it, and you've done it, and you've heard it all before. Yet you haven't, not in this life. Do you believe in witchcraft, heaven and hell? Uh, reincarnation carries at the bottom of the garden Snow White and the seven dwarfs Goblins, ghouls, and witches Things that go bump in the night Telepathy, eternal youth Mickey Mouse, Father Christmas Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Had a very shiny nose And if you ever saw it You would even say it glows like a ghost All of the other reindeer Used to laugh and call him names They never let poor Rudolph Join in any reindeer games And then one holy Christmas Eve Santa came around to say Rudolph waving all so bright, yeah Don't you got no sleigh tonight But I'm a reindeer and they shout it out with glee We'll love the red nose reindeer You'll go down in history You'll go down In history that's a little bit of the phase one silliness for you. It's about that time of the year. Why not have a little bit of a classic rock Christmas? That tune's called John Who. Well, no, it's on a record called John Who. It's the second record I released in 2022. We have a lot to catch up on, friends. I don't want to waste time. Let's just go. Here's two off of the album Fanatophobia.
space for yourself Folks say that can't be it, it must be something else Well if it is then who gives a shit and what of it And who made this your business Because you judge me when I don't let you in Well if that's gotta be the case and I'm damned either way That is not a conversation I don't have a say about my friends list There's people I don't that much I tried to make some friends and they didn't like me much after my heart was invested I tried but it never failed I would find out every damn time that I could not be who they want so since that's gotta be the case and we're damned either way this is not a conversation I don't have a say about my friends I don't Tried to solo, but hey, friends. Both of those tracks are off a new album called Thanatophobia. It was put out in February of this year by Needle Juice Records. You know the label. Home of Telly Hall, home of King Gizzard's box sets. They're pretty rad. Napoleon the 14th. Lemon Demon, you know, best label ever. Put out the Dewey Decibel System. The new MC Lara's record, Blockchain Planet. This one, Phonetophobia, this is actually 
Every flat surface is an optical illusion if you have the right lights for it. But I'm not going to say anything else about that right now. Let's focus on the tunes. Because that's really the point, ain't it? If the tunes ain't any good, what good are the records? Other than, you know, taking up space. Well, friends, that first tune that I played, we got so much ground to cover. So far, in 2022, I've released two entire records. Thanatophobia was in February, and then John Who was in October. That's where the song I Believe in Everything came from. And even though all the songs on that record are written by John Alec Entwistle, the average person on the street, if they know anything about me, can't tell that I did not make up the tunes. I'll tell you, that makes me want to pat myself on the back, but it also makes me want to work way harder when I'm healthy enough to do so. But I'm still writing the occasionally ridiculous, silly thing. I want to show you one right now. Let's have some levity here. This tune, I'd tell you the name, but I think it kind of blows the whole thing. If you don't know this, under the Mark of the Sea stage name, most of those songs, really, a ton of them, I, I would break it down to a percentage, but I'd still be wrong. So many of those are not from my perspective. They're working out the way other people might feel or how some people got to like their place in life. Anyways, this is a song kind of cut from that cloth and kind of not. But if you never, if you never knew that a lot of the time these are character studies, I don't think there'll be any doubt after this one. So let's meet our protagonist, shall we? I'm not like them other girls who only wanted to see the world When I said I need to see your right way I meant with the skin on my god dang face Some folk think I'm crazy and some think I'm gonna sin Who's laughing now? I glued my face to my fucking globe again I went to school for as many years as it took to trick a teacher I went for the whole four years it took and by and gloves it's easier and some folk I'm lazy as a butler when I'm laughing cause I glued my face to my fucking globe again I took my Adam bottom jeans to the airport one fun day I bought myself a one-way ticket to get off my train And some think it'd be easier, better for my facial skin There's no time for a facial, I glued my face to my fucking globe again Daddy always told me something, something, something truck And I didn't mean to please grab me acetone, I'm stuck I married me a rich man, a McNally kind of guy An old ran helped me get where I am, but he left And I can't cry, cause there's super glue in my tear ducts And there's ocean in my eyes And I sigh as I realize I grew my Okay, look, I know I got that one off beat, but you know how hard it is to fit an entire home studio into a globe that you glued to your face? I can't do everything for you, people. Now I'm old and married to a lady named Miss Earth. Well, that's what I name my globe. I even checked the Bible first. Some folks think I'm the devil, but King James said it ain't a sin. That I'm stuck real close to mobile with my face on the globe. Making my daddy proud. Okay, so that tune is called Globe Face. <laughs> what else would you call it? Uh, man, I feel kind of embarrassed that I stumbled over, wore my apple bottom jeans, and I said, Adam bottle jean? What? Now, I'm gonna come clean. I actually am growing a lisp. Look, I'm, I'm not gonna go on and on about my illness, and I am having a pretty good health day. So I don't want to make it depressing right now, but um, part of the cancer then everything went wrong diagnosis, um, I, I literally started having dental problems where I couldn't close my teeth all the way. Not every day. It's weird stuff, right? So I started growing this slur, and, and I'm so scared that everybody I speak to on the phone, when I'm not, like, ready, I'm so scared that I'm just going to sound intoxicated 
So, you know, Walgreens is calling, going, hey, Mark, your prescription's ready. And I'm like, hey, are you, yeah. And they're like, yeah, never mind. You don't need this. And don't drive. That's kind of where my head's going lately. Hmm. I brought things down a little bit. Let me work with that a little. If you've never heard of me before, I'm going to tell you something that's going to shock you. In 2018, one of my songs was shortlisted for a Grammy. That's not the interesting part, to me at least. See, um, at first I did have visions of, I don't know, bigger venues in my head. I don't know. Just, I think we all do this. When, when you know a really big industry looked at you even though you're as DIY as they come and you try real hard to stay out of their line of sight and I really do <laughs> when they go no you did good you kinda can't help but have your head run away from you for a bit but by the end of the day I knew where I landed on it and that was so many people would have never if they just heard this next song on the radio they would never have thought it was a mark with a C song so, here's an oldie, and then I'll do another oldie after this one. I wrote this song for myself, because if I didn't, well, the truth is, I needed to write something motivating for myself so I could see tomorrow. And I lived with the song for a while, and I eventually released it, and some people were like, hey, I really like it. Well, when the Grammys gave it attention, that meant that all these people who did not know Mark with a C at all, they got the chance to hear the song too. And it meant a lot to those people. And that was the best part of the Grammys for me. It didn't make it to the final five, and I say it didn't have to, because I made up this song for me, and I always say I make up pretty much all this stuff for me. And I put the parts out into the world that I think someone else can like. And if not like, at least feel a little bit better because it exists. Well, this song is one of those. And I bequeath it to each and every one of you for any time you need it. This is called One of These Are Gonna Be Your Day. You won't be jumping out of your skin forever. Pretty soon the jitters have got to go away. Things can't always feel so damn untethered Pretty soon it might just be okay Oh, it's tough to say And it sounds so cliche Like a rhyme scheme that goes a a a You can use this song like lingerie You can stain it up once and throw it away But one of these is gonna be your day Really think about it Just a few beats and then a slow decay You can search in vain for angioscopics But you're more than just an alphanumeric display And I know it's tough to say And it sounds so cliche It's like a rhyme scheme that goes A, A, A When you're in a hole you didn't make Well maybe that's just special K We know here's temporary Just a few sleeps and the bat dwindles away You can search for islands that you don't get Or you can be your own Daniel Faraday I know that's tough to say And it sounds real cliche Like the slime scheme that goes a a a But when Gilmore led the Floyd Brigade They still had on the turning one of these are gonna be your day One of these are gonna be your day So, having a good time? I hope you are. I'm having a good time. 
I, I love playing songs. So I'm going to talk about Patreon for a second. That's not necessarily to sell you stuff. Please hear me out. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, like, the end result right now. Part of it is setting up our traditional closing song in a minute. But, yeah, I, I'm taking a break from them right now, but monthly, and when my health allows, I'm doing monthly concerts at patreon.com slash mark with a C. But one of the highest tiers that you can get, and by the way, if you'd like to join, it's like five bucks a month or something for the monthly concert ticket, we would love to see you there. It's a great community. We call it our friendly world, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But there's one thing you can get on patreon.com slash mark with a C that you pretty much can't get anywhere else, which is there's a tier where you can make me write about anything. Now, I always tell people, no hate speech, no bullying, but for the most part, anything. Well, one day, that came up, and I'm not going to mention the person's name, because I don't know that they want me to. This will ring a bell for you, I promise. So, it was their turn to tell me what to write the song about. And I always make it clear, like, hey, look, even if you say, Mark, write a song about fishies. Okay, the fact is, I'm going to put it through the Mark with a C filter, and you might get a song that has something to do with fish, fishies, or sea life, but it ain't going to be anything like you wanted. That's just the way it goes. So I just gotten to the end of that screed, and the person that I was making the song for, when I was like, so, what do you want your song to be about? They went, I don't know. I went, wait, hold on. You bought this tier, and you didn't have something in mind? And they're like, no. I'm like, okay, cool. Do you want the song? And they're like, yeah. And so I couldn't think of what to do. <laughs> I mean, you kind of get handed the keys to the car. Mark, you can do anything. I was like, yeah, I can, but how do I know that they're going to like it? So I decided, and I guess I decided on everybody's behalf, that I was going to tell them the truth finally. That the Illuminati was real, and a joke specifically played on them, that person. So we finally told them, let's commemorate this with the song Low Rent Truman Show from the Obscurity Trilogy. <laughs> After years of speculation, conspiracy theories and tinfoil hats, it turned out the Illuminati wasn't rumor, it was fact. The presidents were involved, and all of Hollywood too. Your nutty religious neighbors, honestly, everyone but you. Cause it's lonely like a low rent Truman Show. Was just a construct to prop up the patriarchy, and your parents bought into that so the truth could remain foggy. Eyes wide shut was really a documentary of all the fun we had without you. Come on, you gotta admit it's funny, though it's lonely like the low rent Truman Show. All the shit on dollar bills too It was the makers of Bacardi And the annoying paparazzi It was the Muppets, even Fozzie We've always known the truth And we thought you'd get the picture In fact, we thought we were being blunt Each time we all appeared successful While you felt stuck in a rut and that's why you don't get pop culture and feel outside of us all. I have to break it to you. You are 
I know that's lonely like the low instrument show All of us control everything you've ever known If I were kidding, I would totally tell you, bro But you know Slow Rent Truman Show, and that's pretty much my time. Thanks so much. There's three things I want to tell you about. Two of them are things I said at pretty much every Mark with a C show that I could get away with saying it. Number one, enthusiastic consent. Acquiring that before any sexual activity is never optional. It's always fucking mandatory. Do not make me repeat it. Don't make me tap the sign. Acquire enthusiastic consent. Because ultimately, if they're not enthusiastic, do you really want to? And I'd also like to remind you, not every time you ask for consent will be sexual. Most of the time when you say, hey, can I get that for you? That's acquiring consent. So just practice it before you... Yeah. Second... Your body and all the choices that belong to it belong to you and only you, and I really don't care what any lawmaker has to say about that. And number three, this is the new traditional closing song. It's called This Friendly World, and I didn't make it up. In fact, um, it might seem really hokey, but I don't think it is. I don't feel that way about this song. In fact, the song means a whole lot to me. I use it to close shows because... Well, basically, if you're here and I'm here, and we both chose that, and we're both having a good time, then all the things outside of our window that scare us, bother us, that are coming for us, that ruin our days, they can't get us in here. This is our friendly world. This is our time. This is what we make of it. And this is what the world could be. We could just agree to have a good time and not hurt. Not hurt each other. Not intentionally. I know we're going to probably never reach it in my lifetime, but it'd be cool if it happened in someone's lifetime. Until that time, I'm Mark. You're fantastic. Thank you so much specifically for supporting this charity and for helping out Ungaku Overdrive support this charity. I'll see you next time, friends. In this friendly, friendly world With each day so full of joy Why should any hearts be lonely? In this friendly, friendly world With each night so full of dreams Why should any hearts be afraid? The world is such a wonder Wander through when you got someone you love to wander along with you in the sky so full of stars and the river so full of song. Every heart should be. everybody. I'm Mark, and if there are no calls for bonus features, this will be it for me. Thanks, Team Ongaku. Love you all. 
take care of yourself and each other. And the Bill and Ted motto ain't too bad. Be excellent to each other. Maybe it'll be good. So that was Mark with a C, or is it? We talked about this before the show. We need you guys to drop some bonus features in the chat right now, like some of you guys are doing already. Very cool. Very awesome. I would like you guys to do a couple more, and we'll... It's usually, for those who are letting you know this, it's the Encore. It's the Encore. Mark, we blocked off some time for Mark, and I think... I think we got enough in there, so... Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna, we're gonna bring Mark back on one more time for bonus features, and Lacey Johnson will be closing out the night. How about that? Alright, guys. Let's get them bonus features ready. Okay. Well, you made yourselves clear. So this one is uh, probably not what you were hoping I would play for a bonus feature, but I think it's going to be fun. Sorry, just a second. Because it's, you know, a thing that you got to do at times. Setting back up. So why they're bonus features and not encores. I love your body Cause I've lost my mind If you want someone to talk to You're just wasting your time If you want somebody to share your life Well, you might need somebody who is alive And if every Never said I was deep, but I am profoundly shallow. My lack of knowledge is fast. All my horizons are narrow. I never said I was big. Never claimed that I was.
It's always a pleasure. And friends, we will meet again.